hello again welcome to my channel exit from excess like i said i'm just starting off this is super low tech um, but I, I just want to get some information out there and share it with people. So uh, my name is Holly. I didn't introduce myself the last time. And pretty much my videos are going to be shot in one take. And that's it. I mean, I don't have editing tools. I don't want to mess with that right now. So I'm just going to put it out there as quickly as I can and try not to screw up too bad. I basically consider it a live video. So that I can reshoot <laughs> if I have to, but I'm, I'm doing this in one take. So today I wanted to talk to you about closets and how I organize my closet. And to me, it's a big deal because I want to have as much stuff as I can carry and not have to dig through everything. I know where my stuff is. I know that it's organized. And um, for those of you that are familiar with the Marie Kondo method, you'll see some of those uh, principles applied in my closet. So um, I pretty much have a typical closet of, um, I've got one big uh, cabinet here that's divided with some drawers or um, with some shelves. And then I have this little space above. And then over here I have uh, another cubby space. I don't use any hanging storage except for some like three or four coats. Uh, rain jacket and slightly warmer jackets. So this is all of my storage. I don't put anything under the bed. What you see is what you got here. And so what was so important to me on my storage was putting it in boxes. And uh, I don't want to start off with my underwear box, but um, <laughs> these boxes are from Ikea and I, they're just, they zipper at the bottom and I fold my clothes in here like I said with the Marie Kondo method of just being able to slide my shirts in and I can see everything that I have at once the only trouble is is that I do have them too deep so my second one is back here and as you can see I probably need to get rid of one long sleeve shirt so done similar and then the the boxes came with a couple of different sizes and the only ones that I find that fit in here are these these long narrow ones and so here are like my workout pants shorts um, it's summer right now so pretty much I'm limiting myself to you know the warm weather clothes for when it's hot out these are you know some more uh, like yoga oh, I don't know if you can see that yoga pants and so I found that this was the best way to organize my stuff and I could get quite a bit in and you have to fold them different depending on what, you know, what your clothes are. So here's some other t-shirts, but these are some more t-shirts and I put these straight up and down instead of kind of sideways because these are tighter fitting t-shirts and it all depends on what your clothes are. So if you could find better boxes than these, but I find that the box method is the best. And then I even have, you know, the small ones for underwear and bras. And then up above, I have, you know, things for my, for working out, little fanny pack. Um, and then that allows me to organize my stuff and group it. So this is like, things that I would take out running and then because I I think that you have to utilize as much um, wall space as possible I utilize it for hanging hats and for my jewelry and all these are are uh, command hooks just to put my necklaces on and this was a hanging it had a, a hanger it's a hanging jewelry case and I just cut that and screwed it in. I sewed up the side here and screwed it in. So that's how I organize my clothes. All of the things that I don't wear right now, long pants, are over here. And they'll get moved to this side when it's winter time. But they're, they're here if I need them. So I find this method to be the best so far. Um, if you have other methods and uh, suggestions, Go ahead and shoot me a comment if anybody's actually watching. 
<laughs> so thanks. I hope that helped. Bye.